this wall that you see right here, I took the help of AI to create this. I have been using AI as an assistant, as an interior designer and also while making my home to do some amazing things. Taking out renders in minutes, using AI to actually visualize whether something is going to look good or not. And all of this is helping me a lot and saving me a lot of my time. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my YouTube channel, Colorasa, Learn Design Manifest, where we talk about everything related to interior design, home wellness, home finds, and everything about interiors that you need to know. So I am a social media influencer and a content creator educator. Um, on Instagram, I have more than a million followers there and I have been posting shorts on YouTube, but Finally, I've started posting long form content on YouTube now and welcome to my channel. I used to make videos before but then I went to the short format and now I feel I need to come back to the long format content. And today's video is all about AI. Now AI has been helping me a lot. I was also resisting it like any other designer would because I felt it's going to replace us and uh, you know there's so much fuss around AI nowadays but honestly when I started using it I realized it actually helps you save a lot of time and no it's not here to replace us because homes still need human touch you still need to execute those things. AI only works well when you know the right kind of prompts that you need to give it to take out the best results. But there are so many things that we're going to talk about in today's video, uh, which have really helped me as a designer. But before I jump into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to stay connected. I will talk a lot about Learn, which is everything about learning about interior design, technical things, softwares and so many other tips and tricks. Design where I will show you the projects that I have designed and some design hacks, some great home finds and I've recently completed my own home so I'm going to share a lot about that, my home series and manifest because I believe so much in manifestation. So bits and pieces of my journey there and how you can also start manifesting your dream life. So so learn design manifest could be a part of your journey in so many ways and that's the tagline for my brand called color raza color raza basically means colors that make me happy because raza means happy in arabic so that's how i came up with the name color raza so let's quickly get into the video i'm going to talk about five prompts which have really helped me out in my interior design journey whether i was designing my own home or uh, the prompts that i really use a lot in my design journey as a designer for my projects so let's quickly get into today's video. So the first thing that I love doing with AI is that my SketchUp models which I've made for my clients. Earlier on we used to use softwares like V-Ray and uh, Kerkithi and Lumion which used to take a lot of time. Now I just take screenshots or export 2D images of the scenes that I've set in SketchUp. Simply put it to chat GPT and tell it to create a photorealistic render for the same and the results are mind-blowing. You just have to make sure that all the textures that you're using are correct uh, in your SketchUp and it takes out these renders in just minutes. Um, you can take out three images per day for free on the ChatGPT free version. But if you want to take more than that, then you need a paid version. You can also add natural light from the windows if you want. You can create nighttime views with cove light. You can keep giving prompts to improve the image. Um, and I think it's amazing because it only takes a few minutes and to do these things manually and then take it out in V-Ray is a lot of work. You can even change finishes and colors, say of the wall panels, of the decor. Sometimes the client wants to see a different accent color. You want to change the flooring. So you just keep giving these prompts at the same image and it keeps changing like you can see here very well. So this is the first prompt that I love using for taking out photorealistic renders of my SketchUp models. Secondly, I love using it for mood board to, again, 3D visualization. Now, sometimes what happens is that you don't really feel like uh, making the entire detail in 3D or you simply want to make conceptual mood boards first because they are quicker to create. Uh, 3D takes a lot of time and we usually show mood boards first and then we move on to 3D. So I love creating these uh, conceptual mood boards in Canva. Now I have a detailed course on Canva for interior designers as well as AI for interior designers where you can see tutorials for the same. 
Once I've made these conceptual mood boards, I take a screenshot and give the same prompt to create a photorealistic render and it's ready. Thirdly, I love using ChatGPT for creating BOQs. Now I know that you still need to give it prompts and you still need to add in your mind, but it really helps you to structure the BOQ. It also gives you a brief into what is possible and what per square footage of area. For example, if I'm spending say 1000 rupees per square foot on interiors, it will tell me what all is possible, what's not possible and how to make it budget friendly. It also gives some tips and also creates Excel templates uh, which again simplifies the manual work a lot better because earlier on it used to take so much time to create these Excel sheets and to find templates and stuff like that. So it does create a very detailed Excel sheet. Of course, I have picked up certain things from the things that I've learned in ChatGPT and I've created my very own Excel sheet with tabs and stuff, which you can again access in my course. But you can definitely explore out uh, ChatGPT for creating BOQs or if you have any questions regarding the material costs in a particular city, it will give you a fair idea of the things, but still you will have to uh, give the correct prompts and take out the correct information for which you yourself have to be very knowledgeable as well. Fourth, how I love using it is for actually sourcing decor. So if I have an image in mind of like something on Pinterest and I just click a picture of it and post it on ChatGPT, it will actually give me website links for similar or same products. Of course, sometimes it cannot find the same product, but it will definitely show me similar images. Like you can see here, this mirror is actually from Ikea. So it gave me the link of that. Plus it showed me two other references of round mirrors or something which I could have used uh, uh, if I'm looking for a particular decor or a website and again for furniture as well if I've posted a picture from Pinterest and asked for its uh, online furniture stores in India or even offline stores in a particular city it will help you with the vendor details and it will also give you the websites and do a comparison of the costings and other stuff which is I think amazing because it saves a lot of time. This feature is there on Google as well, but ChatGPT just uh, structures it a lot better and I love using it for any sorts of sourcing of decor or if I'm trying to find something which I'm not able to uh, look up otherwise. Lastly, I love using it for visualization. So like you can see here, this is an image of my living room. Uh, I had some uh, images in mind, so I gave ChatGPT the prompts, like I want floral, can you also place the sofa, I actually uploaded the picture of the sofa I had shortlisted, and it actually showed me certain options, now this is the one that I actually finalized, I had given it prompts like, I want something ombre in olive green color, and all those details, and I also uploaded this image as a reference, now I wanted to create something of my own, but just had given it references, so even when my sofa had arrived, I took a picture of the living space, and told uh, it to actually show me how that wall is going to look with the prompts and then I showed it to the artist uh, that you know this is what I'm looking at because otherwise if I would have explained the artist what I want he could have taken it in any other manner and, and I didn't want to copy something exactly how it was on a Pinterest image I wanted to create something of my own but took some references and some prompts uh, finally got this wall created and I'm very 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 happy with it. So those were five prompts that I'll use a lot on ChatGPT when it comes to AI for interior designing. Now if you want to do a detailed course, I do have a pre-recorded course, the link is in the description below. If you want to check out my other courses, I'm going to link my website there as well. If you're looking for some great home finds, I'm going to link that in the description box as well. Do follow me on Instagram because I do post my everyday on the stories there. And and of course the reels and shots are there so do subscribe to my channel do hit the thumbs up icon if you like today's video share it with your friends and anybody who's been trying to resist ai because it's really very helpful and i'm going to see you in the next video